This is part 30 of Razor Pages tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss creating and executing NAD Framework Core migrations in a Razor Pages project. Now, if you're wondering what is a migration, well, migration is an NAD Framework Core feature that keeps the database schema and the application model classes, which are also commonly called as entity classes, in sync. In our previous video in this series, we configured our application to use SQL Server Local DB. At the moment, our database connection string is present in appsettings.json file. And here is our application DB context class, which we use to connect to SQL Server Local DB. We want to store and retrieve employee objects from the database. So we need employees table, and the name of our database is hrdb, as you can see in the connection string. Now, if we take a look at SQL Server Object Explorer, and by the way, to get to SQL Server Object Explorer, click on View, and then select this option, SQL Server Object Explorer. Notice, under this node SQL Server, we don't see our local DB instance, local DB, MS SQL local DB. If this happens to you, launch Package Manager Console, and to do that, click on View once again, Other Windows, and then Package Manager Console. Type this command SQL local DB dot exe space info or I for short. We see all the SQL Server instances on our local connection. We want to start this MS SQL local DB instance. So type this command again SQL local DB dot exe start MS SQL local DB. Local DB instance started. Now click on this button which says Add SQL Server. And in this window, we have to specify the server name. And the server name is what we have in the connection string in app settings.json file. So within parenthesis, local DB backslash MS SQL local DB. And then click the connect button. There we go. We are connected to local DB, MS SQL, local DB. If I expand this and then databases, we don't see this database, HRDB. To create this database, we have to first create a migration. To create a migration in NAD Framework Core, we use add migration command. By the way, to get NAD Framework Core help, we can use this command, get help about NAD Framework Core in the package manager console window. And to add a migration, we use add migration and then a name for our migration. In the package manager console, let's use add dash migration. Quick tip here. After we type partial command, press the tab key and the command will be auto completed for us. We are creating our initial create migration here. So let's name this migration initial create. There we go. Our new migration is added. One important point to keep in mind is from this default project drop down list, make sure you have Razor Pages Tutorial dot services project because this is our data access project and this is where we want all the migrations to be created. So if we take a look at the services project in the solution explorer, notice we have migrations folder and within this folder we have a file that ends with the name initial create dot cs and in this file we have the required code to create employee stable with all the required columns like ID name, email, photo part department, etc. Our next step is to execute this initial create migration. And for that, we use update database command. Back in the package manager console window, let's use update database command. And before we execute this command, make sure you have Razor Pages tutorial dot services project selected. There we go. Our migration is successfully applied. And if we refresh the databases folder, we see a new database employee DB. But wait a minute, within our app settings.json file where we have our database connection string, we specified the database name as HRDB. So the question is, why did it create a database with name employee DB? Well, this is one of the common problems that you may run into and may take a very long time to understand what's going on. If you have followed our ASP.NET Code tutorial for beginners course, as part of that course, we used an environment variable to hold our database connection string. And in that environment variable, we used this same key, employee DB connection. And within that connection string, we have specified the database name as employee DB. 
Now, when we have a connection string in two places with the same key, like in this example, we have it in both in an environment variable and in this app settings.json file. The setting in the environment variable will have higher precedence over the setting in app settings.json file. Hence, we have a database with name employee db created instead of hrdb. Now, to get to environment variables on your machine in the run window, type control and click OK. In the search text box, type environment variables. Click on this link, edit the system environment variables and then click environment variables. Notice here we have a connection string with the same key employee db connection and the name of the database here is employee db. We don't want to use the setting that we have in this environment variable. So I'm actually going to delete that. For the changes to take effect, we have to restart Visual Studio. So I'm going to close and open Visual Studio once again. Restart complete. We don't want the database with name employee DB. So let's delete that. We want to execute our initial migration once again and then create a database with this name hrdb. So let's use the update database command again. And let's not forget to select our data access project to pages tutorial dot services. There we go. If we now refresh the databases folder, we see a database with name hrdb and also our employees table with all the relevant columns like ID, name, email, etc. At the moment, our application is still not using this HRDB database. If we take a look at startup.cs file, notice our application is still configured to use mock employee repository, which is an in-memory collection of employees. In our upcoming videos in this series, we will implement SQL employee repository, which stores and retrieves employees from this employees table that we have just created. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.